Hey everybody, it's Sandman PR Vlog. Hope everyone's doing well. Late last night I got a message from my good friend and fellow YouTuber, RC Cola, Raymond. We've known each other a year and a half now. Just our passion for watching and creating content on YouTube. The day before, um, Raymond lost his older brother to some health complications. I don't really have or know all the, the details like RC would know. But uh, I, don't, I didn't know his brother either, but I know RC, I know Raymond. And I can only just say that my deepest sympathies go out to the Costanza family, his parents and RC and their external family members just wanted to give you guys a shout out and let you know you're in my thoughts, you're in my household's prayers for this most difficult time of grieving that you are experiencing. So, uh, we'll go ahead on with the rest of the video. Thank you and RC, definitely thinking about you man. Okie dokie guys, it's Sandman PR Vlog. I'm gonna do a quick uh, review slash overview of this uh, mega figure which is from last year's Kong Skull Island. Picked this guy up today at a Walmart in Kentucky. We're here with our children today visiting. So that's them in the background. Hurry, be disrupted. McDonald's food, French Yay. fry wars. So I wanted to give you an overview on the articulation of this dude. I did find him at clearance at a Walmart on the way here. Um, this was a $40 toy when it was new and I copped That him. was the box. 15 bucks. But it has currently been dismantled. It did come with a little soldier character as well. He's uh, he's uh, like, uh, if you ever bought the Coors figure, he's like a core figure. He does not look like anybody from the film Skull Island. He has a rocket launcher that he can barely hold, but he's a good little victim to stick in the fist. And Kong can just crush him. Um, the the okay. hands are adjustable. Uh, uh, your songs are real. Arms go up. They do spin 360. Nothing fully spins 360. Um, the head movement. It's not that of an owl, but I guess it's a circle. It cannot do like an owl, as my stepdaughter says. You can turn the head. It's bringing the head down. If you turn it on off, you'll stay. God dang it! It can barely move at all. Elbows, wrist spin. Uh, the, there's zero articulation in the legs. Zero articulation in the buttocks region. Katie, zero articulated <laughs> in the buttocks. The feet are adjustable. <laughs> they swivel. What could be true? He's just a big old cool skull. I love the detail in the mouth and stuff and the face. I mean, it's very detailed. <laughs> Do it. Fixing his fist. He's got one fisted hand and then one open hand. Uh, he's already had a few french fries today, so he's okay. He's been fed. Um, but yeah, that's the lantern toys. Shout out to my friend. And I'm going to open a package. He sent me one yesterday. I got it in the mail. It's a trade that uh, David Bookler video and uh, reviews collectibles. And that's what's coming up next. Hearing what you think of this, um, and I'm just overwhelmed. You know, just words just cannot describe uh, how much this, all this stuff means to me. Because each, everything that I add to my collection is one, it's a part of my childhood. Uh, two, it's just things that I, uh, I just love to collect. Leave it on this note. Where's the wisdom? Uh, 
what you love, not what you like. Because if you buy what you like, you might never get rid of it. And I will get you guys later. Oh, and before I forget, um, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. Uh, what a great video. I just watched my good friend David Booker, his uh, unboxing video from the package I sent, as well as two others. A really good mutual friend, Chicken Fried Steak. If you're in the toy community, in the YouTube toy community, and you don't know the name Chicken Fried Steak, then you want this guy on your page watching your content because it doesn't get much better than having Josh as a viewer of your content. If you're holding Josh's attention, you're doing something right. But back to the course, the main order of business here. My friend Dave and I did a trade, and uh, he opened the box I sent. You'll want to check out his video. I'll place it right here. Check out his channel. Fabulous content. He reviews movies. He's a Jurassic Park, Jurassic World nut. He loves dinosaurs. Uh, horror content. His channel is so diverse. He's got a. He was one of the first tubers to do a review on the T Rex that can swallow the figures. And that's been, it's it went viral. It's got over 15,000 views. So please check out David's channel. So this is the the package he sent me on our deal. I'm going to open it on my channel. I really love the reaction, David. Great video. And thank you for completing this with me. It was very nice of you to... Uh, I told you three different legends that I would love to have in exchange for the tumbler and you went out of your way and you got the one that I wanted most and for that I couldn't be more appreciative De uh, Dave's got a, a phenomenal Kenner collection He's, he loves Kenner he's got a lot of Mattel as well but Kenner mint on cards some loose stuff um, Hasbro wrestling I mean he's got it all you need to check out his channel if you haven't He's part of Toy Savages. We love our group. Our group is so awesome. It's common, everyday folk who collect and love collecting. And we are not run by a hierarchy of egotistical, you know, madmen. We are just regular Joes that collect, trade, talk about hauls. There's no ego in play here. Thank you for the phenomenal packaging, Dave. Appreciate that very much. This figure, one of my most anticipated legends in this very, very heavy year of legend releases. So many waves are dropping. Right off the bat, we were hit with the Black Panther wave in January, a month prior to the movie coming out. And ever since then, it hasn't stopped. The Deadpool wave, the Satchcross wave, um, the X-Men wave, uh, the Lizard wave, the two waves of Infinity War, and it's non-stop. It's, it's still going. Do you see it? Let me try to get that glare out of there. This is the cable. Wow. Oh, to hold this in hand. I was actually just watching my good friend Vintage X Collectibles. I will link the video right here. Uh, he reviewed this cable just recently. He had to go to a convention to buy this figure because it never showed up as his local retail stores. And I was in the same boat. I never thought I was going to encounter it in the stores that I frequent. So just to be able to have this figure, this was one of my most anticipated of the first half of 2018. And now that I have him on hand, Josh, I mean Dave, man, I love him. Let me open him. One sec. He is, guys, open out of the packaging. Got the large gun attached to the back. This one over here in the holster, and he's holding the shotgun looking Gatling laser blaster deal. Uh, again, I would highly suggest checking out um, Vintage X Collectibles review on this guy. I will put it in the corner. Check the description as well. Next to this dude right here, Black Knight, I was really, really hoping to own this figure by the first half of 2018 and thanks to my trade 
with this man, David Blucher. I now own him, and I'm very, very happy that you're satisfied with the trade, man. I really appreciate it. And Toy Savages, uh, Savage Chat, the admins, the group of friends. Very, very happy to have cable. If you watched the beginning of this video, you saw that I made a mention of my good friend and fellow YouTuber, Raymond Costanza. His channel is called Cola Break. He actually has another one called RC Cola. It's a gaming channel. He's a good friend of mine. I've known him for a year and a half. Uh, we started out just watching each other's content, and we are much closer now as friends, even though we physically haven't met. Uh, he's just a good friend of mine. He's, he's someone I would consider... Uh, extended family I really care about him and his family so if you want to check his channel out it will be in the description below as well and leave him a comment about the grieving that him and his families are going through with the loss of his older, his older brother no parents ever want to bury a child but yeah I love cable thank you David and thanks to the homies that we have in Toy Savages and Plastic Cannibals that the camaraderie and the, uh, you know, this is a hobby. It's not a life or death situation. This is something we do for enjoyment to take our mind away from the troubles of life, the everyday troubles and the the things we go through. I mean, life is rough, and this is something that takes the edge off for us. So I love collecting. I love toys. But more than anything, I love the relationships and the friendships that I've made since doing this channel. And I just wanted to end on that note. Thank you for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe if you're interested. And uh, we'll see you on the next upload, guys. Until then... Sam man out. Okay, we're going to go ahead and choose a winner for the Bear King indie comic book that I offered a few videos ago. These are the names of the people that follow the instructions of the rules. Hashtag Bear King in the comments. So, I'll show you again. Let's see who wins. Venom Fang. No surprise there. Congratulations, homie. I'll get that into the mail. Uh, probably Monday.